Hey there, Waterline. Pastor Scott again. Just wanted to let you know that uh, from now on, on Mondays at noon, we're going to be uh, sharing our Sunday morning teaching live at noon every Monday. So you have those of you who maybe missed it during the weekend, have the opportunity over your lunch hour to take it in. I'm trying to keep those messages short into inside 15 minutes or less um, because the intention is for you to engage in our home experience material throughout the week so that you can kind of take the rest of the week during your devotional times uh, or times with your family or life group or whoever you gather with the worship uh, to engage in some other materials along the same topic. So this week I'm looking forward to sharing with you again about the beginning of creation and how God approached creation informs how we approach our new beginning at Waterline. I hope you have a great day. Love you all. Well, good morning again, Waterline. I'm so excited that you decided to journey with us today as we start our first sermon series called In the Beginning. If you're joining us for the first time and we're here at Waterline, we just embarked on a journey as a church that we've never taken before to find our next lead pastors. Our founding pastors, John and Danielle Freed, have set sail for an exciting adventure north to help the Great Lakes region of the Wesleyan Church um, to plant new churches over three states. And it's in a pretty incredible way that God had called them there. And that means that we're on a new journey as a church as well. So as a church, we're taking the next few weeks to look at the beginning, the beginning of creation, the beginning of the church, the beginning of Waterline, to see how God will want to use us in this time to shape us to become more like Jesus. So I want to dive right in today if we can. Let's take a look at the beginning of it all. Let's take a look at Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 right at the very front of the Bible. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. Now, I'd love to read this whole, actually two or three chapters with you this morning, but we just don't have time to do that. But uh, you probably know that uh, it goes on, the Bible goes on to say that God said, let there be light, and he said, let there be sky, and let there be earth, and let there be vegetations, and creatures, and people, and God spoke all this into existence. So, as we think about the beginning of creation, what does this mean for waterliners at the beginning of this new part of our story? I want to point out a few things, if you'll let me. In the beginning, God. God was there in the beginning of creation. He had a plan. He had a vision to see the world created and filled with creatures and vegetation and animal and terrain and rivers and lakes and oceans and even you and me. God, he saw it in his mind before it even existed. Then he spoke. He spoke it into existence. And he actually even got involved in making his vision a reality. Waterline started the same way. God had a heart to reach more people. Actually, God had a heart to reach you and me with a life-giving church in Fishers, Indiana, and he planted that desire of his into Pastor John and Pastor Danielle Freed. You see, in the beginning of Waterline, God was there. God had a plan and he gave that plan and vision for a life-giving church that would love God and love others to Pastor John and Danielle. And that vision came to life in John and Danielle like God saw the earth in his mind. John and Danielle saw a waterline in theirs. And then they began to tell about it. They spoke the vision into a group of people who caught the same passion and they stepped out in faith together and launched Waterline Church. You see, they literally spoke Waterline Church into existence. They got involved and created what we now know and love to be our home church, Waterline Church. So 
God was involved in the beginning of creation. He was involved in the beginning of Waterline, but what about you? What about me? Our beginning? God was there too. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 says, Before I shaped you in the womb, I knew all about you. Before you saw the light of day, I, God, had holy plans for you. Psalm 139 says, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. So not only in the beginning of creation, or the beginning of Waterline, or the beginning of the Grand Church, which we'll talk about another day, but in your beginning, God was there. If you hang around with me at all, and if you're familiar with me praying, you know that I pray this scripture out of Psalm 139 a lot. Uh, I find it reassuring to remind myself that regardless of the circumstances around me, God saw it from the beginning. He wrote it out in his book, and he had a specific part for me to play in whatever it is, in whatever day, in whatever I'm facing. You know, God has a specific part for you to play in all your facing too. Even in this new beginning of Waterline, I believe God wrote each of our stories so that we would be here in the middle of coronavirus and national unrest and the new beginning of Waterline. Because together, God had a story that each of us needed to play a part in. Can I ask you, have you considered what your part is in Waterline's story? You see, God's already written it out for you, and he's written it into you. Have you asked him? Have you asked him to give you a vision for what your part is to play in Waterline? Now, I know some of you who know my story might say, it's easy for you to say, Pastor Scott, God's already written it for you. You know, you lost your job in March, and then we lost our pastors. Uh, in I think May and so you're a pastor and this is a church and so that's a no-brainer but you know it really hasn't been that easy it's true though I'm here because I had to accept for the time being that God has written me in this story here I am and he's written me in Waterline story for this time to help with our transition I've done this before and our church needs somebody who's been there but guess what? You're still here too. Yeah, God has an equally important part for you to play, just like he does me. Do you know what that part is? Maybe you're a planner or an administrator. Maybe you're great with hospitality or you build stuff or move stuff or you're strategically, uh, you, you think strategically. Maybe you're great at video editing or making phone calls or interceding or praying or encouraging or maybe you're a good teacher or a writer. Um, you know, God's called all of us to be giving financially right now as we continue in this journey. Maybe you're a singer. Maybe you're great at cleaning things. Maybe you're good at organizing or you're really good at telling jokes because we know that we've got a couple of jokesters missing these days. You know, these last few weeks, Pastor John and Pastor Danielle have told their story about how God shaped them for this next journey that they're taking with the Great Lakes region. And they asked us to consider our shape, our S-H-A-P-E. And how God wants us in this new chapter of Waterline. Now is not the time to close the book. The story is just about to get even more interesting and you have an important part to play. So my challenge for you today is this. What is God's vision for your part in Waterline's next chapter? This week in our home experience material, which we've talked about just earlier today. I've shared a few more thoughts about all of this on a video. 
I want to flesh out a little bit more about how you can discern what God's plans could be for you in this next chapter of Waterline. Remember, Waterline is a body. It's the body of Christ, and we, all, we need all of our parts in place as we move forward. I'm so excited to hear what God reveals to you in the coming weeks. If you plan to learn and pray about what your part could be in Waterline Story, would you do me a favor? Would you just type the word me in the comments below? Would you just type the word, the letters M-E, in the comments below? If you're willing to pray and consider how God wants to use you to shape this next part of our journey. Or maybe, uh, maybe you're watching on TV and you've got your phone in your hand. Would you text the word me, the letters M-E, to the phone number below on your screen, 317-820-2757. It's right there below. We, as a leadership team, would love to be praying for you specifically as we step out together in this courageous journey and story we call Waterline Church. I can't wait to hear what God shares with you as we journey together. I love you all. I love you all. I love you all. I can't wait for us to get back together again, but please engage this week in our home experience material as we continue to learn how to love God and love others together. Blessings.